Third question. You meet someone from a different city. Y'all start right. y'all start <laughs> dating. You own your own business. <clears throat> now the person that you met that you just started dating, they now want you to move close your business, mm. move it to the city that they live in, and then y'all move in together. What's your next move? First of all, you sound broke. Okay. Cause why? Why I gotta do that? Because Maybe you wanna be close to you. No. Okay, so this kind of like my interpretation of a, like a real thing that happened. So my assumption is that the person is controlling mm -hmm. and they don't really see like the, they not taking into consideration the hard work you put into to open up right. your own business. Inconsiderate. Right. So now they like, oh, this one, like you just Such. pack up and move to where they live. Like, yeah, like course. it's no reason. Yeah. It'd be different if you was like, okay, we're going to keep, not we, you, how about you keep this one and maybe expand right. over here and then not move completely over there. Let's meet in the middle, in the middle of both companies. That's right. different. Right. I could, I would think, consider that, but closing it, the first one down and move for what? That don't even make yeah. sense. You losing money. Alright, how you, how you feel? That's a negative. Listen, I'm over here branding myself over here, getting my stuff going. We can fly to visit each other. We can spend long weekends here or there. But you keep your space to your thing. I keep my space to my thing. You don't want to open another business over there? Well, having a business is stressful by itself. And then uh -huh. open up another one near somebody that we probably won't even make it three more months. Uh-uh. Well, that's the timeline on it. Text, yeah, because I would be like, well, <laughs> what if y'all building towards something? Like, right. that don't matter. Like, if that is the mindset of the person that you're with to close your business and move whatever, then they don't have a business mindset. Mm -hmm. They're definitely not looking to gain the same things as you because you yeah, wouldn't like want that. someone that has a successful business over here to close their business and come move in with you. They don't even, that, that doesn't even sound like a business mindset at math all. Math is not math. There we go. <laughs> math is not math. math, 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 math. Not math. Because I can see you now wanting to knock everything I'm trying to accomplish. Well, no, you should just do this and come over here. Or you should do that. But the right. Whole, yeah, right. so yeah. That's, that's we yeah. We're not seeing eye to eye. Yeah. I think I would try, like, uh, what Simone said. Oh, <laughs> 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 business because like you said people you know they switch up so um and then you end up like remember why, why did I get married when they was going through that divorce uh, table and she was like yeah the extra da, da, da. why was, was that one last night that's not for all why not yeah she said what page did you write Kathy I know that's right <laughs> <laughs> but the funny thing is if they were splitting everything down the middle so you seen why did I get married to uh, two yeah all right, so Janet and her husband was getting a divorce. They went, they said they was going to be am amicable. They were splitting everything down the middle except for what she did with the book because she wrote a book. Mm -hmm. But under the guidelines of we split everything, like, that's that's supposed to be the rule, right? Why we're, we're married. I'm, I'm saying, well, I'm judging this on what's, what was presented in front of me. <laughs> So if we going down, no, 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 because we can talk about that. I don't, I don't, I, truthfully, I don't understand it. But if we going on the guidelines of everything that we got while we were married, we split. What's the difference when it comes to her book? Because like she said, what page was written by him? But, but it's the, something that she obtained while nights. they were married. Exactly. But that don't, no. Because why are we splitting the houses? Why are we splitting bank accounts? Because they were splitting are, everything. They got that together. Those are that, what they got together. You don't know how long she's been writing that book. You know how long it takes to write a book? Under the guidelines, it don't even matter. If, <laughs> when it's, if it's published while you were married, that's when it's full, full play. But his name is nowhere on them books. He didn't write no page. People want stuff for less. People be like, I gave you that idea. Matter of fact, he said that. I right. gave you the idea of something, something. Did he? Yeah. Okay. But then she said she didn't use it. Show no, me. and then he said, no, you did use 
blank. I don't remember what it was. And he stayed up long nights. Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> you stayed up because you wanted to. <laughs> you didn't have deadlines to meet, okay? What email did you use to turn these pages in? Nothing. If that's no. the guideline, that's, that's the guideline. Me. No, no. Leave, so she should have said we'll split everything amicable except for my book. You know, you, you need to put that in out and open the procedure for my book. Well, she said that's not up for whatever. No, that's too late. It's they not. Have that's have pre pre-prenup. Yeah. Wait, you can prenup certain things? Yeah. That's oh. for the whole purpose. I thought it was no, just everything. Like once you sign it, everything is. Mm, you oh. put whatever stipulation you want in there. Like you'd be like, we get married for you last for five years. I'll give you a thousand dollars for each year. That's a bad deal, but you get what I'm saying. Oh, I didn't know that. Or you get you leave it what you came with. But what you I was the, necessarily saying. I thought it was just about like I thought prenups were mon- like money. Like you, you had to the, whatever you want into it. You guys agree upon this is what it is. If we separate, whatever that is. Look at that! You learned something. Y'all, y'all hear that? You learned something new. That. <laughs> but yeah. y'all, you, you, can, know that. you can also <laughs> do it on the back end too with a divorce agreement, so you can agree upon what you're gonna do on the back end if you didn't do it. Got to be more careful. Oh my God. All right, yeah. so what was So when they, she came to the thing saying we're gonna split everything down China. the middle, she just said we're gonna split everything down the middle, but this. Right. And he could agree or not agree upon it. Well, she kind of tried to do that, but he was. She wasn't going for it. That's great. That he wasn't going for it. I didn't know. Um, But the whole um, splitting, anyway, like that don't sit right with me because I'm not trying to live off somebody. And it's it like if even though we may have been together, it feels like that's yours, and that just could be my mindset. My, you know what I mean? Like we share. But I'm not gonna deliberately take something from you. Now, if you have an agreement that says, I don't want my wife to work and ever in life, and then based on that, she don't work, it feels like you owe her something. Now, I don't know how, how long that's supposed to be, but you know, some she should get something. But could you, could you, See yourself doing that song, be like, I don't want you to work no more. I'm gonna just give you everything. No, because, like, I listen from long, long, long back, I told you that no man would ever look at me and be like, Where's your house at? That's it. So, this is no, <laughs> this is mine. No, you like, if I'm <clears throat> like earlier, if I move based on my feeling, I might still have my place. Mm-hmm. Like Inside. I'm not gonna be, or I'm at least gonna have the money. To like Zatima, she had her, her her apartment. Yeah, I'm not gonna be out there high and dry. That's that's just not gonna happen. That's just not smart. So, how you feel about the splitting? I agree to what you're saying. I think everything's individual. Mm-hmm. So. I think if you both go in making your own money, having your own things going on, I don't think whatever I did with myself and my time and my money, I should have to split with you, nor what you did with yourself, your time and your money, you have to split with me. I think we're two separate entities, and I think you you take, you take leave with what you came with. Now, if we got accomplished some things together, then right. I think we split it down the middle. Say we bought a couple of houses together, we sell them and split it in half, but my stuff is my stuff your stuff is your stuff um but i do believe that if there are certain situations where one person is like i want you to stay home be it the wife or the husband or whoever i think that person should be rewarded because they did what you asked they made your house a home while you went out and chased your dreams so they allowed that they i'm not allowed they helped you by doing their in at the house and whatever else needed to be done because i'm sure they're not just at the house they're making calls for you they're doing this they're doing that so they should be compensated for right that. but even if they was just at the house they them being there is making your life easier it 100 mm-hmm. is and i think that's a big thing that people don't take into consideration like from uh waiting to excel he did not take that into consideration at all mm-hmm. so what about you uh someone how you um you think you should split or no? You leave with what you came with. I'm not splitting. You leave with what you came with. 
Okay, you didn't take any other ones, so. <laughs> 